CNN. This was a moment when Megan James never expected to be a witness. A surgical team at NYU Longoni Health in New York performed a person who experienced the world's first successful full eye transplant to her husband Aaron James. Aaron, who caused the loss left eye and part of his face result an accident at work, opened a new window to soul as well partial face transplant. When Megan first looked at her husband's new eye, she noticed postoperative swelling and saw that the eye was brown. Aaron naturally has ocean blue eyes. He also saw his new nose, lips, and cheeks that had already been bearded. He saw a face full of gratitude. And that's when the feeling appeared. She was happy on behalf of her 20-year-old husband. I was happy to have accomplished this. And everything was fine right now. Aaron James and his wife Megan kiss for the first time after full eye and partial facial transplant surgery. In late May, a team of more than 140 surgeons at NYU Longoni Health completed Aaron's approximately 21-hour transplant procedure. The surgery involved transplanting the entire left eye and parts of the face from a single donor. This was a medical first according to his medical team. Aaron's eye now shows extraordinary signs of health. He is hopeful that seeing over time may come, even if he cannot see it with his eyes, and that his procedure, the first of its kind, can help advance transplant medicine. This is really my greatest hope, said Aaron. This is great if I can see it outside. But if this will start the next path in medicine, then I am ready for it. The accident that changed your life Megan said seeing Aaron's new eye and face is not as big a shock as seeing him on the night of the accident. Aaron, 46-year-old soldier living Arkansas, was working as a high-voltage linesman. And that night in June 2021, while working with colleagues Mississippi, his face accidentally touched live cable. The 7,200-volt deadly electric shock caused major injuries to Aaron's face his eye, all nose lips, left cheek area and chin arm. Megan in Arkansas and their daughter in high school, Allie, were returning home from the market when Megan's phone rang. He didn't know the number, but he still answered. He heard the words Aaron, accident and serious. When Megan arrived home, he immediately prepared bag and set out for Mississippi, where Aaron was treated at a local hospital for about four and a half hours. During the trip, he stole the phone again. He explained the situation of Dr. Aaron and explained that he was electric shock. He remembers that the doctor responded the only thing I can promise you is that he won't die before you come here. Megan recalls that he told Aaron to be careful before work every morning. He still thinks about the morning of the accident and wonders if he told him to be careful that day. Oh my God. His face is gone. Megan stayed with Aaron as he was transferred to different medical centers for more intense.